Hi everybody, so today you're going to be taking the figurative language assessment to see how much you've learned so far. So let's get started. Um, number one, her face is like a sunbeam. Is an example of what type of figurative language? Onomatopoeia, simile, personification. Number two, the tropical storm slept for two days is an example of what type of figurative language? The tropical storm slept for two days. Is it a metaphor, personification, or simile? Number three, I had so much homework, I need a pickup truck to carry my books home. What type of figurative language is used here? I had so much homework, I needed a pickup truck to carry my books home. Hyperbole, personification, or simile? Number four, the fog slowly crept by is an example of what type of figurative language? So creeping by is like when you're slowly like crawling. So think of like people who do this. So is this a metaphor, personification, or a hyperbole? Number five, the movie starting, hit the lights. What type of figurative language is used here? Is it a metaphor? an idiom, or alliteration. Number six, the sign read, Mrs. Capota's Cool Kids Classroom is an example of what type of figurative language? Mrs. Capota's Cool Kids Classroom. Metaphor, idiom, or alliteration. Number seven is true or false. An example of alliteration is the cat sat on the mat true or false so do not get this confused with rhyming number eight the students were like ants crowded around the pizza box the students were like ants crowded around the pizza box what is this an example of a simile an idiom or onomatopoeia number nine the chubby dog made a kerplunk as he sat down in his bed. Is an example of what type of figurative language? The chubby dog made a kerplunk. Is this a metaphor, hyperbole, or onomatopoeia? Number 10. My homework is a large rhino taking up my room. My homework is a large rhino taking up my room. What is this? Is it a metaphor, idiom, or onomatopoeia. Now for the last three, you are going to have to create your own. So for number 11, you have to create an example of alliteration using at least four words or more. So the keyword there is you need at least four or more. And number 12 is write an example of personification. And number 13 is write an example of a hyperbole. You can look up on the whiteboard on the side of the classroom to help you out with any of these. And you can stop this video or go back and re-listen to any of these to be read again if you don't understand something, okay? But we want you to try to do this independently using this video. Okay, good luck.